What up data nerds? In this video of this tutorial, we're gonna be focusing on how to build a dashboard in Tableau. We're not gonna be focusing on building visuals itself, so a lot of the graphs that we're gonna be using this are pre-built. I have a separate video earlier in the series outlining that, but for this, we're gonna focus solely on building a dashboard. Here's what we're gonna be covering. Using the Tableau Superstore data set, we're gonna be building a dashboard that tracks the performance of the different sales representatives in the data set. And we can go through and monitor different things such as commission rate, um, also look at it down to a country level and have it actually hone in to show different individuals. For this, the major things that we're gonna be looking at in building this dashboard are how to add visuals to the dashboard, how to add different uh, filters and how to make them control the different visuals. Next, we're gonna look at how to actually put them into the dashboard itself. So the containers, what are containers and how to organize the containers. Then we'll also look at how to add pictures, how to add titles. And then finally, we'll go into the formatting to how to format this uh, visual to make it more appeasing to the end user. So with that, let's jump right into Tableau and start building the dashboard. Here we are in Tableau, and I just wanted to show real quick, we have all the different visuals built that we need for this dashboard. Specifically, we have a, a little color diagram for all the different sales representatives, a graph on discount versus profit margin, uh, a map of all the sales regions, um, a graph, a line graph of all the different commissions, and then finally, a return rate. What is the rate of return for each of the different sales representatives? So the first thing we're gonna do in creating a dashboard is actually come down to this bottom pane and you have uh, create a new worksheet. We're gonna, right next to it is uh, create a new dashboard. The first thing to keep in mind when building this dashboard is what your end user is going to be using it on. So the top selection up here has a default, which is uh, defaulted to like a browser. And then underneath it, you could be doing uh, like a phone. So in our case, we're gonna say, hey, we're gonna be launching it in Tableau Public. We assume everybody's gonna be on a web browser, we'll go with that. Next is the size itself. So you can come and actually click this down arrow and select the different size options. And depending on where you're gonna be putting this finally, so if you're gonna be putting PowerPoint, you could make it for that size or whatever the other option is. But for this, we're gonna be focusing on since uh, yeah, it's going to Tableau Public. We're going to be doing a desktop browser. And then I could actually go in and actually fine tune the uh, width and heights itself, but I, I like the way that it's at right now. So now let's go into how to add visuals into the dashboard itself. You can have, there's two options. You can either do tiled or floating. Um, so for tiled, whenever I drag something over, it's going to highlight this area and it's going to say, hey, I'm gonna put this visual right here. And so if I drag another visual over, it will tell you where in the pane it's going to put it. So let's put it down here. Um, and so yeah, it, it does it in this containerized manner, which I really like, um, but some people may not uh, want to do that. And if we go back and say we wanted to go in a manner that isn't containerized, you could switch this down here to floating and drag a visual over and it will just put it to where wherever you want it and it doesn't put it in the container itself but i feel like it's harder to actually adjust uh, so i like the containers um, additionally a little secret shortcut is you can leave it in the uh, tiled view right here and say you drag something over i can uh, press uh, command or control sorry i can press uh, shift um, and then drag the visual over and it will allow you to put it in this floating type manner. But let's go ahead and uh, clear this to, uh, to start off with. So since we're gonna be building this dashboard using containers in this tiled approach, let's go over containers horizontal and vertical and see how to actually use them to our advantage. If we look at the actual final project, we can see that how it is aligned, we have a container, uh, a horizontal container that contains these two graphs. Next, we have another horizontal container that controls this um, with a vertical container inside of it. 
And then another horizontal container containing the outline of the names. And then finally a horizontal container up here that has the uh, title and the picture. So I want to just go over that to show how we're going to build it. It's important to have that in mind when building your dashboard. So for this, we're going to build the dashboard from the bottom up. We're going to start uh, building the visuals down here and work our way up to the top. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to take this horizontal container uh, and drag it in. And now I can start dragging the visuals. So I'm going to first take that return rate I'm gonna drag it in and I wanna stick it in the right here. And then I also want to take that discount versus profit and we'll stick that um, right next to this visual. Okay, so the filters right here to the right hand side, I don't necessarily want just yet. They're sort of uh, bulking up my view. I can go in and um, remove them. So they're all within a self-made container itself. So if I wanna delete all three, since I know they're in a container, I can come here and go, hey, select container vertically. And this is gonna select all the visuals, or sorry, all the filters, and then I can click this X, and from there it will delete this container which contains all of those things. Okay, now we can see that there, these contents aren't distributed evenly, so I'll select uh, this visual, or I'll select this visual like we did before. I'm gonna click this more options, and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna to go to uh, select container horizontal. So now I'm selecting the container that contains both of these things. And I'm gonna say, down click that, this down arrow for that container and say, distribute contents evenly. Okay, but I'm still having an issue where this return rate is not um, taking up the full view. So we're obviously we're having some issues with that. I'm gonna come in here uh, click the down arrow, select fit, and I'm gonna go into entire view. All right, so now we have it mostly for what we want for this bottom thing. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the next two visuals above it. Okay, so I've added these two visuals right above our uh, previous two visuals. Um, now we're going to go into adding that uh, the name view to where we have a, a selectable way to select the different sales reps. Okay, we have the name view added now. And uh, I don't necessarily want this title up here at the top. So I can come in here, select more options, and then unclick that title. And so now uh, I have a visual, and you can do the same for any of the other visuals itself. Also as a note, uh, you can use this go to sheet to actually use that to go to uh, the select visual that you have. And then finally, the other option that I wanted to cover real quick is use as filter. So now I can use this name view as a filter. So if I wanna look at Anna, um, I have this now selected, it's completely grayed out. I can, click, I can click Anna and all the visuals are going to filter based on the selection of that. And if I wanna unselect it, I just click her back and then I can click somebody else if I want. Okay, so the next major thing we wanna do is add a title um, with that picture. So up at the top. So I'm gonna add a horizontal container up at the top. And then we're gonna be adding, um, I'll adjust uh, these later. Um, I'm gonna be adding the image first. And we're gonna choose the image. And okay, and we can fit the image itself. Okay, and then next we're gonna be also be adding the uh, title itself to the next of it. And from here we can go ahead and format the color and size of the text itself. So I can make it 36, bold, uh, whatever color I may want it to be, and enter it. And then from here, I'm gonna just do some formatting. <laughs>
Now that all the visuals are added, let's go in and start adding the filters. Because, I mean, what's the purpose of a dashboard? The purpose of the dashboard is so that way your end user can come in and click around and get the different data insights that they want. So we'll start first by uh, adding a year filter. So I'll come here, I'll go to more options. And then from here, you can see, hey, I can add different legends, I can add different filters. Uh, highlighters and then parameters. Um, we're going to focus on filters, adding filters. So I want the year. So I want this year selection right next to the name selection. As you can see, it's highlighting different things, but it's not highlighting what I want. So what I need, I need is a uh, horizontal container in there to actually put it where I want. So I can take the horizontal container, I'll drag it in, throw throw it right there. I'll select this visual, throw it in here and then also select the order date. And now it lets me throw it in right next to the uh, names. And that's, that's basically, I mean, that, that's one of the learning parts of using uh, containers. Now that this visual is in here, so this filter itself, you can also go in and format it further. So if you wanted to do single value list, you can select that. Um, if you wanted to do different selections, but we're gonna keep it this single value list. I like that the best. And then you adjust the formatting a little bit. And then also if you wanted to adjust the title, um, you could hide it if you wanted to, or you could, uh, we could show it as we do want to in this case, but I'm gonna edit it. So that way it just says year. So that was adding a filter via the containers. Let's show how to add a filter via the um, floating approach. So I can come here to commission. I want to control, I want to change the commission rate, allow the user to change the commission rate. And we've created a parameter for that. Um, so if you're interested in learning how to create parameters, I have another video on that. But you can come in here, I'm going to select commission percentage. Okay, and it's going to throw it in uh, right up here, but I actually want to use it. So I'm going to press shift and then grab this and then I can move it wherever I want. So I'm going to move it uh, right here over the commission graph. Okay, and so similar, it's a drop down right now. I don't really want that. I actually want a slider. Also, I have this label right here of commission, so I don't need the label for this. So I'm going to uh, remove the title and I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger and yeah so now we can uh, use this uh, to select different commission rates okay and now I'm going to add just a couple more filters uh, for the map selection So now that all the filters are added, let's make sure they're working properly. Um, so if I wanted to look at, um, so let's go to United States. If I wanted to look at United States, okay, it filters in the United States, but then I want to filter to just these sales reps. And as you can see, not the other visuals aren't filtering to that. So a way to fix that, if you wanted to control other visuals, is clicking the more options button and then going to apply to worksheets. And for this, you can say, hey, selected worksheets, um, being what visuals select worksheets I wanna do. But in this case, I wanna do all the visuals on this dashboard. So I wanna say all using this data source, okay? So now whenever I select this, it's going to actually change. So if I change it to Sri Lanka, it will change to who the sales rep is and all the different information associated with just Sri Lanka itself um, and for all the other visuals as well. Let's do the same for uh, region and uh, verify that's the, for all the other filters as well. So it looks like it's for, it. Uh, I checked it, all the filters are using for everything else. And let's go back in and, and select all. Okay, and yeah, so that is all the major components now added. Now let's get into the formatting of the dashboard to add a little bit more structure to this. 
So to add some structure, I want to add some borders around certain regions. And I'll start with this visual first. I want the, a border around the region and country because it, it, it contains this visual right here and it will link it, it will show visually to link it together. So let's, we select that visual and I want this container that everything is in. So we're gonna select container vertically. Okay, so now everything is selected. I come over here to the layout pane. And this is where you do a lot of the formatting. But let's go ahead and select a border itself. So I'm gonna select this uh, line border with a, a gray tint to itself. So I also want to add a padding to this to not have the line so big. So I can come in and change it. And as you can see, look how I, when I change the padding, it will uh, adjust it. And I'm doing the outer padding right now, but you could do a similar way with the inner padding. So I'm gonna do, just stick with four. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some, uh, some borders to all the other visuals as well. All right, so now we have a final product. Going through and added the borders to the visuals like I want to have filters appearing linked with certain items, and it adds a, a lot more better aesthetics to the dashboards itself. So there you go, that's how you create a dashboard. For this, we covered some key elements, specifically how to select the size of the dashboard, next how to actually add visuals and filters to the dashboard. Also, you can add uh, titles or pictures, whatever it may be. And then finally, we got into the actual formatting, using containers, and then adding borders or any other accessories as necessary. As a quick shout out, this video is part of a series where we go all the way from importing data from Google Sheets into launching the dashboard we just built into Tableau Public. We'll only have uh, one more video in this series which will go over launching that video into Tableau Public. So if that tutorial seems interesting and you'd like to learn more of the basics of Tableau, consider subscribing to this channel. Also, it'd be awesome if you like this video and comment down below on things you'd like to learn in Tableau. So hope to see you again. Thanks.